This video was made possible by EE Creator Network. Special thanks for inviting me to this opportunity. Previously in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Got the third eight. What about Katzba? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Have you seen the crash yet? Butler's OK. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today. Especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. OK, Aidan, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that.
don't want to see you two take each other out. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 7.3 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining. afraid you're going to have to retire the car, please, Aiden. Retire the car. Uh, you're joking! I'm sorry, Aiden. Pull over now, please. Pull over now. This is getting ridiculous. And that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. 
Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sport's Aidan Jackson won't be seeing the chequered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. Yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring home some points for the team. Good for him. It's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Hidden. Hey, 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 I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I... I won't let you down. Ackerman wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devon. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. Good luck with that. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes?
Andreo! Just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course, yeah. So, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> All right, ciao. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards, still wheel to wheel, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go! And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later, but right now I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. Okay, watch the aggression, please. We don't want to lose places because of a penalty.
great manoeuvre. You made it look so easy. Now, keep it up. Five laps of fuel remaining. between you and the car behind is increasing by a significant amount each lap. Good job. Yellow flag. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 3.8 seconds. We've got enough fuel for three more laps.
Good job. Nice overtake. OK, mate, this is the final lap of the race. Final lap. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 35.2 seconds. OK, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. And the gap behind us is 2.8 seconds. drama here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve today but Ant what stood out for you well it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there banging wheels not giving each other room on track it was entertaining of course but definitely for all the wrong reasons yeah we enjoyed it certainly and Aidan Jackson well he'd have enjoyed the result he did well to recover he did do well to recover but you know you never want to see two cars if, if you're the team boss seeing two cars hit each other it's rule number one don't hit your teammate Given all the problems they've had this season, though, getting one car over the finish line, that's probably a big result for them today. Welcome, then, to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Aiden, just uh, just a heads up. We're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how we run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no. I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief. Hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a shambles. 
Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as if Hang on two secs, Nat. OK, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. So your teammate behind is 4.4 seconds. OK, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left.
Brilliant, nice move, keep going. Okay, you're in the top ten. Okay, the gap behind is 2.2 seconds. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. in front is 4.8 seconds. We've only got two laps of fuel left.
Okay, mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Less than one lap of fuel left now, the tank's pretty much empty. Right, race over, take care of the car on the way in. So Nats, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport have struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammates. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Well, a good race out there again today, Adam. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. Uh, I have no clue about that, Natalie. We're completely different strategies. That'd be for Devon to answer. I'm just focused on what I need to do. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson-Butler rivalry is well and truly back? <laughs> no, that's, that's in the past, definitely. Uh, we're on the same team now. That's what matters. If there's anything that happens between me and Devon on track, it's because we're... We're so focused on making Connors a success. We're bound to tread on each other's toes from time to time. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be pleased with your performance? Uh, yeah, I think so. I did everything I could today and, you know, the car performed really well. Uh, I think I found some good pace and, uh, yeah, forgetting any other hiccups, I think the team will be happy. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. Has that all been sorted? Are those reliability concerns well and truly behind you? Well, yeah, there was, there was no issues this race. Um, so things are definitely looking up in that regard. Uh, I'm confident the team have got it in hand and today proved it. There's always room for improvement, but little by little, step by step.
Thank you so much for your time. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. A shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it. This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams. So just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. Oh, Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Could you take a look at this, please? Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. Hey, we need your input on this one. Callie Mayer, was she on your radar at this point? Of course. She was making big waves in F2. And Ackerman would not shut up about her. Here's our race leader, Callie Mayer. She has been blisteringly fast around Zandvoort here today. And look at that! She's going into pit! 
Interesting strategy they've decided on there. She has been lapping at rapid pace, but is this the right call? Yeah, it's a bold move for sure. Looks crazy to me, but let's find out. Here she goes then on brand new tyres. The rest of the field still sticking with their original set. Where exactly does Callie Mayer come out? Let's see. OK, Callie, let's go. We're going to leave it to you. You know what to do. Come on. Copy that. I'm on it. so easy. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 28.2 seconds.
Caution, caution. Take a bow, what a masterclass to finish first here in the Netherlands. It was such an unlikely strategy for Maya, but she and the team have made a success of it. What a race, what a performance, what a genuine joy to watch. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Kelly, what do you put your success down to this season? Oh, I'd say probably my speed. In what way? I find lapping faster than everyone else really, really helps. Casper, <laughs> Casper. No, no, no. Seriously though, I have a great team around me and this guy, more than anyone else, has been pretty useful to have around. Casper, <laughs> what are you shy? Come up here. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And Callie says you've been a factor this season, Casper. I'm not the one driving. Didn't agree with my tyre strategy, though. <laughs> this one has no respect for elders. <laughs> but can you give us more detail as to the exact role that you're playing, Casper? None whatsoever. It's all about her. He's probably right, to be fair. So, were you already in touch with Casper Ackerman at that point? <laughs> 
Ackerman and I go way back. 